What is going on, guys? You're here with me, Kyle Livingston, Professional Illusionist, brought to you by the power of the internet. I am here with Matthew. Matthew, we're going to try and show you guys a, a couple of really fun, simple tricks, but I think I'm going to start uh, with something everybody loves. I'm going to start with a bit of a card trick. I've been doing magic for about eight years, and I haven't been this badly fooled by a card trick in a long time. I'm not saying it's a great trick. I'm just saying it fooled me miserably. Ever watch Penn and Teller Fool Us? No. No? Oh, that's a show you should get into. But anyways, I'm going to grab one out. It doesn't matter if I see it either. Have you ever heard of that story of Arthur and the Sword and the Stone? Yeah. That retro old school kid story. I want to check these out. They're not stuck together. There's no magnets or anything like that. Probably why this fooled me so bad. But watch. We're going to imagine like these cards are the stone. And we're going to put the stone in the box. And we're going to imagine like this card is the sword. And if we put the sword uh, in the stone, maybe we'll try and stick it about halfway like that. We can actually make it look like it's stuck. Which looks really, really cool. Other than the fact I'm holding the side of the box. But it looks cool from the front. But uh, we're going to try this. We'll see if we can get this to work. I want you to pinch the top of the card like that and hold it super, super tight. And don't let go. Do you got it? Yeah. Okay, don't move. All right, watch. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. And you can actually pull that card right out, which is the coolest part. Right? Not so bad? All right, here. Now we're going to keep going. Let's That'll be a split segment there. But anyways, all right. So um, we're going to show you a couple other things here really quick. How about I show you something that, uh, that uh, I learned when I was a lot younger. I think, how old are you? Um, 13. You're 13? Yeah, that must have been your age, actually, when I learned this. Uh, don't do this one at home, though. Um, we're going to try. So I want to check that out. Are you good at blowing balloons up? Yeah. You think you can blow that up? Yeah. Maybe. Give it a try. <laughs> I don't have the pump. Here. I'll show you the cheap way of blowing these up. The easy way, if you don't have a pump, what you do is you take it. You're going to go like that, and you're going to squeeze the end of it. And you're just going to blow and squeeze the end so the air doesn't get out, and you go, you're going to suck the air into one amp. And then you're going to do it again. Oh, if I don't have too many issues here. And I'll show you some cool. That's the cheap way of blowing it up. But here's what we're going to try, all right? bubble on it there, that might work. Maybe not. Anyways, you ready to watch? Now, I'm going to show you what you do when you get sick. Okay, and this is what I do to kind of clean up my nostrils a little bit. You can take it. Let's try this up here. See if we can find the... Uh... There we go. Now, you know your nasal cavity connects to the back of your throat, right? So what we're going to try and do is see if we can get it go down my throat and out my mouth. Are you ready? All right, let's try this. <coughs> see, the problem is it wants to go down your throat, so we're going to see if we can try this the second time. Let's we'll see if we can get it the second time. Third time's the charm, but I'm going to go for the second time. Here we go. <coughs> we're going to normally get it to pop up here in a minute. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Here, I'll give you one of these two. Which is the funnest way to hand out cards, right? 